Hi guys, welcome to 2020 and welcome to Creator Lace. Today we're going to start with uh, Inkscape and uh, making a little cake topper. Okay guys, for our first video this year what we'll do is we'll start off by making a cake topper in uh, Inkscape. So as long as you've got Inkscape installed we'll, we'll head over here and just open up Inkscape to a, just a uh, standard document and press on this text tool here and we'll just type in uh, just 21st we'll just do the ST and then we'll just do birthday okay so just select the normal tool again and you can grab hold of one of these corners and when you move it it's going to uh, just change the uh, proportions to hold them just press control and then that way they stay uh, in the same proportion as you zoom it in and out. Leave the EST about that big and we'll make that one do the same thing and hold control and we'll do it something like this. So what we can do then is uh, select all these and we'll press this text uh, viewer over here and oh, we don't want any of these. Just leave all that normal. And what we'll do is go to font and we'll change the font to something that looks a little bit scripty. How's that word for the day? Scripty. Nice and fancy. And oh, there we go. We'll just do that one. That looks all right. And there we go. So we might just change these sizes a little bit. So press control and hold those. And that looks about right. So we move that in there. What we want to do is those we need these to start touching so we'll start off with this one here and we select the text tool again and this one up here moves the spacing between the letters so we just move that one down by to say five pixels actually negative five pixels and press enter now we need more than that so we're going to need 10 pixels oh even more than that we've got a pretty big i think i think so 15 uh, 18 there we go that's probably close enough then this one here will do the same thing so we'll make that one negative 18 whoops too far so we'll just go 15 maybe 10 that looks about right and we just move that in next to there and then we'll do the same thing with birthday now so select that text tool and move this one to be negative uh, we'll start off with 10 and that actually looks pretty good there so we might increase the size by a tiny bit so press control while I drag this out and that should look pretty fancy so what we need to do is grab a rectangle and we'll make it this size and we'll just do the width to be uh, five and the height to be about 65 so what we need to do is uh, grab this shape and convert it into just a path that we're able to edit this path to make a little spike uh, so we'll head back over to the thing and what we'll do is we'll change this up onto here and we also want to go to uh, where did they put it a path so object to path or shift control c so let's change this to object to path boom so let's change it now so you can edit it and we're in edit mode and what we want to do is press control and zoom in and put this around about the middle or we'll double click into the middle there and then while we're up here, so just go a little bit higher and we'll just put it about here somewhere. Double click and over here, double click. So what we'll do then is we'll select this one and press delete. Uh, and select that line and straighten that line. And that one there should also be a straight line, but we'll just see what happens. Press delete and it does that again. So we just press on the line and straighten that line 
then we can go back to select tool control and zoom back out and we'll grab this and we'll move it down to uh, maybe in here somewhere we'll go up a little bit closer and we'll just fill that gap in there uh, maybe we move it over to the other one this one looks a bit nicer zoom back in this auto thing is making it auto snap and we zoom back out so there we go there's the cake topper so what we can do is everything should be all joined together just make sure that that dot is connected to something which it is is that two um, that's going to be a little bit loose on there because the only point it's anchored by is there and up on the top but I'm pretty sure that's going to be fine so what we can do is uh, we select everything here and we just go up here to path and we press on union or we can press control and plus control shift and plus so we press on that and then now if we do an outline uh, so we can see what we've got here if we go to the outline tools and we do we remove the infill and we go to the stroke and we add the stroke color and we move the stroke down to 0.1 of a mil press enter and there we go and everything's all joined together we just zoom back in and now that is ready to print so there you go that's how you get the file ready to be able to print in uh, in Inkscape so what we'll do now is we'll just move over to the laser and we'll uh, print that one out for you and we'll show you what the cake topper looks like <laughs> And there we go, We've got a finished cake topper. So uh, this is it just in raw wood. Um, so what we might actually do is take this over and uh, give it a paint in the paint shop. And there you go guys, we've got the, uh, the, fi the finished product. So it's there in nice shiny gold and I've painted the black back of it black and we've got the cake topper. I'll leave you with a couple of images of, uh, of close ups for you and uh thanks for watching and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and uh, click that little notification bell just to make sure that you do get some of our new videos because we are going to start uh, making a lot more videos this year right thank you guys see ya